Okay, so we're gonna set this machine up for non-rebreathing. So this machine's a little bit different. If you remember, it has a little switch back here that we're gonna click up to non-rebreathing. And then we're going to actually put the uh, machine end into the port that says non-rebreathing attachment. So at this point, we are again bypassing the CO2 canister entirely. We're just sticking on this side of the machine because with the non-rebreather, the patient's not going to be rebreathing any of that CO2 free air. So again, with our straight system, we're just gonna attach our reservoir bag to the end here, and we're gonna do a quick leak test on this machine as well. So this one is switched over to non-rebreathing. We've plugged it in. We've got our reservoir bag, making sure again that the valve is closed here. This is kind of like the pop-off valve for this uh, type of breathing circuit. And again, we're going to close off the end and turn on the flow meter. And what we're looking for again is for this bag to fill. So this one, similar to that last machine, doesn't hold the pressure quite the way that it should. It slightly deflates after I'm uh, hitting this pressure or the oxygen uh, flushing valve. It's deflating just a tiny bit. So that tells me that it's something uh, to do with this system um, and or potentially um, the bag on this system. So again, we can um, always double check that all of our connections are nice and snug on all pieces of the tubing. And if anything's loose, it's going to have a leak and it's not going to hold that pressure the way that it should. Chances are with these examples that we've done on both machines and your non-rebreather, that it's something to do with a non-rebreather not being connected or perfectly tight um, as it should be. We did just use this bag on the rebreather setup and it held perfect. So that tells me it's not the bag.